If you are a Kirby fan, you must know about this game. Vivid Spirit is an action-adventure platformer where you use colors to dictate how you fight. You can jump and stomp on color blocks or enemies to change colors. Looking at the gameplay footage, yes, it does look like Paper Mario, but the game also reminds me of Kirby, specifically Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo. I don't know if that was the developer's intentions, but I'm sure they've got the inspiration from Nintendo. On Kickstarter, they have stated that they take inspiration from 2D platformers of the 90s. They wanted to make a game accessible to all sorts of people, like those with color blindness, by using shapes to represent colors. I think that's a really noteworthy thing for them to do, and that should be acknowledged. This game is also hand drawn by paper, just thinking about that makes my brain melt. The last game I could think about that was hand drawn was Cuphead. Not too many games go in that route. In Vivid Spirit, there are over 3,000 plus images drawn. Vivid Spirit is more than one single adventure. There are over five different adventures awaiting you in the land of paper craft, and they all have something different for you to experience. One story you may play as Vivid, but in another, you'll play as Spirit the Dog, and you'll even be able to use both in certain areas. So why should you bother with this game? Because I think you might like it. I know I'm just a random dude on the internet, but I'm trying to find some gems in a sea of mainstream video games. I believe that Vivid Spirit is one of those gems. You may be asking, what's the resemblance to Kirby? Well basically, if you look at the gameplay of Vivid Spirit, you can see that the combat is very similar. The platforming reminds me of a lot of Kirby Superstar. Also in some of the Kirby games, you tag along with some friends alongside you. In this game, you have your allied dog named Spirit to help you through the game. The game is primarily centered around color. Being a certain color gives you advantages and disadvantages to just about any situation. Your attacks, platforming, defense, powers, and puzzles, all of them are affected by your current color, red, yellow, or blue. Blocks that are transparent can be walked through if your color doesn't match, which means you'll need to switch colors to take advantages of blocks being physical or transparent. When it comes to weapons, every different color portrays differently. Red ones are typically short range but have great control, making them good for movement. Yellow attacks are horizontal projectiles that are good for taking opponents from afar, though limited vertically. And blue weapons are vertical, allowing you to take out pesky enemies you can't reach too well. There are 18 weapons total in the game. The demo for Vivid Spirit is out now, and I will link in the description for you all to enjoy. I highly suggest sharing your thoughts and trying out the game to see if you like it. The developer by the name Lucas has been making games as a hobby for about 10 years now and hoping to finally make a complete product everyone can play. He's been working on Vivid Spirit since late 2014. I, Spirit Buddy, make videos on YouTube to share the passion of gaming and by not recommending this game to people, I will be doing Lucas and his game Vivid Spirit an injustice. So I hope you all can check it out and support Lucas on Twitter. You can find him at LucasMaxBros. And I will also link his Kickstarter in the description as well. My name is Spirit Buddy and I thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you on the next one.